Hey, I'm Emma and I have Invisalign. So today I wanted to talk through my top tips for wearing Invisalign. I am on pre 12 right now. I'm steaming ahead. It's been six months. I have picked up a few tips, a few little tricks that I have that I want to share. So these are my tips for wearing Invisalign. My first tip, invest in having multiple toothbrushes just so that you don't have to run different places and grab different things. If you make your life easier, it will be less painful to have Invisalign. I have little toothbrush stations set up. I have obviously one in my bathroom, I have one in the downstairs bathroom and I have one in my bag for work. So I have a little toothbrush station that has a toothbrush, toothpaste, some floss, mouthwash. Buy a few toothbrushes and put them near wherever you eat. My next tip is to avoid staining. I brush my teeth and also brush my tongue. So I'm not really a tea or coffee drinker. I never drink coffee. I sometimes drink tea. I think the way to avoid the stain going from your mouth after brushing your teeth onto your trays is to brush your tongue. Brush the back of your tongue as well. I've especially noticed this. I do drink black currant juice and that is really heavily dyed purple, bright purple. And I find that my tongue will sometimes hold the dye. Even after I've brushed my teeth, the tongue, like the back of my tongue, will sometimes still be completely purple. So I think if you're having any staining issues with your trays, then definitely invest in like a toothbrush with a tongue scraper on the back. And then you can scrape your tongue, mouthwash and try and gargle around your tongue and brush your tongue again. And then hopefully if you can get the stain colour of whatever you're drinking or eating off of the back of your tongue, then hopefully it won't transfer to the rest of your trays. You should get a nail file and orthodontic wax. So these two things have been an absolute lifesaver for me when my trays hurt. If my trays are a little bit scratchy on my gums up the way, then I will take a nail file, not when they're in my mouth, I'll take my trays out, <laughs> take a nail file, and then I will gently file if there is any sharp corners. I have had a little bit of an issue with like this, this section here where it's the tray goes up into my gum. So it's not on this tray. Sometimes the trays will be up touching your gum and that's just kind of painful if they're pushing up too high. So I will just take a little um, nail file and file them down to get the sharpness away. There's not usually, so they're 3D printed trays, Invisalign trays. So they're not usually like sharp, sharp as if they've come out of the mold wrong because they're not coming out of a mold. But sometimes they do, I don't know, they touch your gums and it's kind of painful. The other thing was the orthodontic wax. I have these power ridges. So these power ridges mean so these power ridges, they mean that these trays never really touch my teeth, which means my top lip has got a lot of tray to rub over. There's just always a gap. In the beginning, I had so many blisters on the underside of my lip. It looked like a mountain ridge underneath my lip. So I would take a little sausage roll of orthodontic wax and I would place it there, like an inside orthodontic wax moustache. It was perfect because it was nothing to do with like filing, it was nothing sharp, it was just that there was a gap for this power ridge and it was really painful. So I took orthodontic wax, at least the beginning of the tray until my mouth was more used to it and that was an absolute lifesaver for me. So if you're having any issues, file if it's a sharp piece, use orthodontic wax if it's just a gap. It either needs worked out if like you're chewing your trays in um, or if you've got power ridges like me. Orthodontic wax is your friend. I know, everything in this list is like buying stuff. It's really expensive to have Invisalign. <sighs> My next tip is have multiple ways that you can take your trays out just in case you need them. So I have two ways I can take my trays out and in the beginning I only had one way and then I had a set of trays that I could not take out in that way and I panicked. So the first way that I take out my trays I double hook at the back and then peel them. So a double hook. You heard two snaps. And then I can pull them out from the front. That is super simple if your trays are equally as 
tight on both sides. So that's the first way to take my trays out, is click click and pull them at the front. The second way to take my trays out came about out of an emergency because I had a set of trays that were so tight on the right hand side I could not unclip. So the second way that I take them off is I clip off one side and then peel them round. So I clip off one side and then I peel them round. I find that is my preferred method now. Definitely take them off from the back, don't take them off from the front. I can't see that being good for the trays or easy for you. Take them out whichever way suits you, but have multiple methods for taking your Invisalign trays out in case you need them. The next one is floss after every single meal. So I found that if I had a meal that gets really stuck in your teeth and I would, I would just brush my teeth and put my trays back in, sometimes they would just feel really tight. And I think if you have teeth that are getting food stuck behind them or between them and then you're putting your trays in that's giving like undue pressure on things and I don't know when I started flossing between every single meal to make sure there's nothing that's stopping the trays from moving my teeth properly I feel like it was a good move I feel like my trays were sitting happier because there wasn't times where there was different pressure from having food stuck between my teeth so just floss your teeth after every single meal. I know it's a lot of work but if you get your little teeth brushing stations together then just keep floss at them and hopefully you'll survive. So the next tip is probably a little bit disgusting if you're not an Invisalign wearer but it is to be able to learn how to brush your teeth without running water. So there have been a few occasions where I need to brush my teeth and I'm not at a sink. So basically what I do is I have a bottle of water and I have a cup and I think being able to brush your teeth anywhere is a skill that you will enjoy. So the best way I found to clean my trays without being at a sink is to brush the inside of my trays, to place them in my mouth but don't snap them in, take a sip of water, swirl it around my trays, spit out and then snap my trays in. And I just find that that's able to like get tons of water to wash out my trays and feel like they're clean without having to have them under the sink and scrub them under running water. So yeah, I think being able to brush your teeth not standing a sink is a really useful skill to have and you should develop strategies so that you can brush your teeth when you're not at a sink because you're gonna need to brush your teeth a lot <laughs> and it's tricky. I think having the skill of being able to brush your teeth anywhere and places that aren't a bathroom has been really useful for me. My next tip is use a chewy just before you go to bed. I feel like this has made the most amount of difference as to whether or not my trays feel settled after a good night's sleep. So the way I've been able to do that is just place a chewy on my bedside table. I have a little chew. The hours that you spend sleeping will be with your tray in the perfect orientation and I generally wake up with them fitting really, really snug. I didn't used to do this, I didn't do this until I had a little panic that I was, mm, my trays weren't fitting great for two or three trays and I felt really disheartened. So I started doing a little chewy exercise before I went to sleep, like minutes before I went to sleep. I will just have a like two minute chew and I feel like just chewing right before you go to sleep has been really helpful to get my trays to settle. And keeping a chew on my bedside table was a really easy way to just do a quick little chew before going to sleep. My next tip is don't wear lipstick. I have tried and I just get lipstick all over my Invisalign and it's never worth it. If you have any idea on how to wear lipstick with Invisalign, please let me know because I am struggling and I would love to have maybe a lip stain that worked or something. But yeah, I've tried lip stains and I seem to get them on this top edge. It's this it's these power ridges, man. They're just ruining all my fun. I think that's it. May the trays be ever in your favour. Anyway, that is all the advice I have to throw from me to you via the internet. So I hope that was useful. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!